Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, we're back at the battery room. But first, let me say, uh, wish you all a solemn uh, Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Today is December 7th, 2021. But we all remember that uh, fateful day. And uh, it's been covered in every history book in the world, so everybody knows about it. But yeah, uh, to those of you who lost family in per at Pearl Harbor on December 7th, I uh, give you my condolences and wish you all the best. Anyway, let's get back to where we're at here. You see something wrong in there? Yeah, there's a big red battery right in the middle of the group. Well, that's because today I got up, had my breakfast, and uh, headed into town. And I got a hold of a reconditioned US 2200 battery. Uh, these US 2200s are 232 amp hours each and I have 18 of them uh, but they're wired in series parallel so there's actually only nine 12 volt batteries in that setup so um, this one was a nice looking battery and uh, they assured me it was in good shape and I took specific gravity readings on it and it was right up there where it's supposed to be but uh, it looks a little different, but it'll work. Now, the reason I didn't put a brand new battery in here is because all of these other batteries are going on six years old. And at six years uh, old, if I put a brand new battery in the center of it, all of the older batteries that have a little bit lower voltages would suck that power out of that brand new battery and just bring it down to their level and it could damage the bat the brand new battery so you don't really ever want to put a brand new battery into an old battery bank um, the proper way to do it is replace all your batteries if one or two go bad but I have found that I can get away doing this if I can get a specific gravity reading fairly close to the ones that I got already in my battery bank and then I'll slide that in there. And you notice I put a date on there so that I remember when I replaced that one battery. And it's easy to know which one was replaced because it they're all red now. And they used to be red and white. Okay, so I got that in there. And I got two of the Trojans back. They had them in stock when I got there. So I put them in. Now... I'm getting those uh, are reconditioned, and I'm getting them for $85 each. And normally they're like $235 for a new one. So th this works for me. Now the the other ones that shorted out went bad, uh, lost a cell on them. Uh, they guarantee these for five months, and those others went about seven to nine months. I, I just looked at the dates on them, and what they do is they. Uh, they use a little engraver, and in the corners they engrave the the uh, date that they sold them. So uh, you can't lie to them and say, "Oh, it's only been five months." So <laughs> I would never do something like that, but people do it. Okay. So anyway, the um, I got this all put back together again and all wired into place, and it's approximately the same time today as it was yesterday and you remember we came in here and I was down to 12.7 on the batteries at that time and uh, right now we're at 12.9.13 so that's a, that's a good thing that's telling me that uh, the new batteries made a big difference they, they're holding their own now instead of sucking the other batteries down to their level because they were bad batteries they had a bad cell in them and they were sucking it down. So now I got my replaced one that, that I did yesterday and I got two more back in the center here and uh, these are the L16 EACs 
They're six volt batteries and they are 370 amp hours each. So now I got six of them, but that's actually only three 12 volt batteries. So you add the three on there to the 18 I have there, and that's uh, or the, the three here onto the nine I have there. So I have 12 12 volt batteries running my my cabin, and they seem to do everything that I need them to do. So for right now, this is the way I'm going to go. Now I've had people tell me I should switch over to uh, LiPo fours. Yeah, that would be nice if I had the money to do such, such a thing. The Putting a battery bag together is expensive. I started six years ago when I was still working um, 50 or 60 hours a week in construction and I had money to put things together. And now I'm retired and living on Social Security. I don't have money to spend like that. I've got to make the money last for my duration. So um, I, I have to do it this way. And if it comes down to it and I have to replace the whole battery bank, that's going to put me on, I'll put it all on a credit card and it's going to put me into debt again and I'm going to have to pay that off over time with interest so the batteries will be more expensive. And what, what can I say? That's the only way I can do things and that's the way I have to do things because that's the situation I'm in. But anyway, uh, that's... Uh, down the road. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to stay um, happy with what I've got here. I'm going to be happy to see that the uh, uh, the battery voltages will be up in the morning because uh, you know you get up in the morning and you look at the uh, the gauge I've got inside and uh, it tells me that my batteries are down to uh, eleven nine. Well, that's kind of low. So now I should be seeing in the morning that I should be maybe 12.3, 12.4, uh, 12.5, somewhere in that area. And that'll be a good thing. All right, so I got that all done. And for those of you who are in California and want to know where I got those batteries at such a great price, this is where I got them. Okay, and I did, like I said, for the Trojans, the, the L16s, I paid $85 for those. Now, there is a $22 core charge if you um, don't have a core, but uh, I had cores because I brought the three bad ones back to them, so I only had to pay the $85 for the batteries, but uh, they'll take all your old batteries of any other kind, but uh, they pay like twelve dollars for regular car batteries and that stuff depending on what battery you bring i brought them one of the harbor freight 35 amp hour sealed batteries um that had gone out on me because it was like seven years old and i couldn't get it to repair or take a charge i brought that one into them and they gave me four dollars for it but you know four dollars is better than nothing right so anyway, I wanted to make sure that you got plenty of time to write down information on this. You can give them a call or visit them online. I think they they are online at California Batteries. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's move on down the road. I think that's like uh, from the Wiz, right? Gonna move on down, move on down the road. Anyway, I started disassembling pallets here. And I thought that a whole bunch of these were screwed together. And uh, I was mistaken. And what I found out was the, the top ones I took off of here already, the top three, they were nailed. I took those apart. This one's nailed, this one's nailed, this one's nailed, this one's nailed, and this one's nailed. And I think this one is nailed. And then the last one, two, three, four, five of them have screws. So eight of them out of the 13 were nails and uh, five of them have screws. Um, that's for Don, 
and Don was uh, the guy who gets these for me, and uh, no complaints. I mean, you know, hey, it takes a little extra work to pull the nails, but that's okay. And when the boards crack when I'm taking them apart, uh, the 2x6s and 2x4s, if they crack and splinter and things like that, no big deal. I cut them up like this, and that's firewood for my uh, lady neighbor up the road. Now she has a little pot belly stove that she heats her cabin with, and these things fit in there just perfectly. So I just bring the, the ones that's uh, broken and splintered over here. I use my chop saw, cut them up, fill up the containers. She takes the containers, empties them at her place, and brings me the containers back so I can refill them for her. And that keeps me from having to store all that extra junk. Now, yeah, I do have an outdoor fire pit, and... Uh, one of the advertisers is sending me a custom um, outdoor fire pit that I will be doing a video on, and uh, we'll see what, how that goes. Now, I wanted to come out a little bit earlier and uh, catch it on video, but uh, it's a little too late right now. Maybe I can see it again tomorrow. But on the horizon right there where you see that little uh, mountain sticking sticking up those mountains were white and covered with snow because last night we got a little bit of rain it woke me up about 3 a.m and it rained until 4 30 a.m uh, but it was a light rain and we only got one tenth of an inch so not a lot of uh, rain, but uh, it's a little bit, and at least it watered my uh, mulberry trees and watered my garden, gave it a good soaking. Well, not a good soaking, but it gave it a soaking. And uh, hey, all water is welcome. So uh, we got another one, another storm coming through. It's supposed to be bigger than this one. It's gonna come through on Thursday and uh, Hopefully I'll capture some water on that one because uh, I didn't really capture very much on that rain from last night or early this morning um, in those two upper totes there with the first flush system connected to it. Uh, I got about two inches in the bottom of it and uh, that's not very much water, but all water is welcome. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today. I'm gonna move on into the cabin get my supper together i think i'm gonna have uh, some sirloin steak tonight with a baked potato and steamed carrots and broccoli and enjoy thanks for joining me everybody don't forget the thumbs ups down there don't forget to subscribe and share this is g bear thanking you for being there and signing off